Hi, so for science today, we're doing the Scholastic News article, Butterflies Are Back. We've been learning a lot about butterflies lately. We started with the life cycle of it, and then I was even able to show you in real life videos of butterflies. So we're going to start with going over the vocabulary that we're going to see in our article. So our first vocab word is migrated. It means moved from one home to another. Many animals migrate in the fall, including birds. South, the downward point on a compass. Places in the south are usually warmer than places in the north. So we learned about Florida yesterday. That is in the south United States of America. North, the upward point on a compass. Places in the north are usually colder than places in the south. So, we learned about Florida yesterday and we said it's in the south. New Jersey is north of Florida and is much colder than it is in Florida. Caterpillars. Caterpillars hatch from eggs. Then they change into moths or butterflies. And our last word is metamorphosis. The series of changes some animals go through as they develop from eggs to adults. So let's get started with reading. Butterflies are back. In the spring, the sky fills up with butterflies. One of those butterflies took an extra long trip. Can you guess which one? Monarchs on the move. Can you find the monarch butterfly on the cover? Monarch butterflies make an amazing trip every year. So as we read, think about how butterflies can change as they migrate. It's a beautiful, sunny summer day. You look, up, you look in, up into the sky. You see a bright orange and black monarch butterfly fluttering by. You turn around and see another and another. Soon, the sky is full of monarchs. Where did these beautiful butterflies come from? Too cold for butterflies. To answer that question, we need to go back in time. The butterfly story started almost a whole year ago. Last autumn, the weather started getting colder. The monarch butterflies couldn't stick around in the cold weather. They needed to go somewhere warmer. So they migrated. They traveled thousands of miles to a new home. Winter in a tree. The butterflies flew south all the way to Mexico. There, they landed on tree trunks. They could finally rest. They stayed on the trees all winter. These trees make a perfect winter home for monarch butterflies. Flying north. Winter turned to spring. The weather got warmer back up north. It was time to migrate again. The monarchs flew back north. This time, they stopped along the way. They laid their eggs on milkweed plants. Those eggs hatched into caterpillars, and the caterpillars were hungry. They munched on the milkweed plants they ate and ate. Soon, they went through a metamorphosis. They grew and changed until they were adult butterflies. Those adults flew north. They flew and flew. They laid eggs on milkweed plants. Those eggs hatched and turned into butterflies too. This happened over and over again. Spring turns to summer. Finally, some adult butterflies made it to the northern parts of the United States. They had reached their summer home at last. Summer vacation. And now that brings us, us back to those butterflies filling up the sky. Those butterflies will stick around all summer. They will rest on colorful flowers and flutter by on warm summer breezes. They will enjoy the summer sun until the weather starts to get cold in the autumn. Then they will need to migrate south and start the whole big trip all over again. So here, right here it says monarch migration. This map shows some of the different paths monarch butterflies take when they migrate north and south. So the orange lines are when they mi migrate south and the green ones are when they come north. 
This is a picture of a butterfly resting on a milkweed plant. So here we have monarch butterflies huddled together on a tree. The tree stretches up into the sky. Let's look at the video clip. So in that clip, we got to see all the butterflies on the trees and flying around them. Okay, the life of a monarch butterfly. Read about the life cycle of a monarch butterfly, then answer the questions. So the first stage is an egg. A female butterfly lays an egg on a milkweed leaf. She makes glue in her body that sticks the egg to the leaf. Second stage is the larva. After about four days, a larva hatches from the egg. The larva is also called a caterpillar. It eats milkweed leaves. The third stage, pupa. After about two weeks, the larva hangs from a leaf. It turns into a pupa. It is also called a chrysalis. And our last stage, the fourth stage, is an adult. About two more weeks go by. The pupa turns into an adult butterfly. The adult butterfly shakes out its wings and flies away. What is another name for a larva? So if you look into the larva stage, which is the second stage, it says the larva is also called a caterpillar. So what's another name for a larva? Is it egg, caterpillar, or pupa? It is caterpillar. Which one is also called a chrysalis? Is it larva? pupa or adult. So if you go into the pupa stage, it says it is called also called a chrysalis. So which one is also called a chrysalis? Larva, pupa, or adult? Pupa! What does the larva eat? Does it eat flowers, ladybugs, or milkweed leaves? It eats milkweed leaves. About how long does it take before the egg hatches? It takes about four days. Very good. So now we're gonna watch a video that comes with the article. The life of a butterfly. This is a butterfly. It flutters from flower to flower, drinking the sweet nectar inside. You can see its big, beautiful wings. But it didn't always look this way. It started inside a teeny tiny egg. A female butterfly had laid that egg on a leaf. After four days, the egg hatched. A little caterpillar crawled out. It was so hungry. It ate, and ate, and ate. Here is the caterpillar two weeks later. You can see it got a lot bigger. All those plants it was eating really helped it to grow. But it still needed to eat more. When it was done eating, its skin hardened. It changed into a chrysalis and hung from the stem of a plant. Inside, it was turning into an adult. Its body had totally changed. It had big, wet wings. Its wings dried in the warm sun. At last, it was a beautiful butterfly. Wasn't this metamorphosis amazing? A metamorphosis is the series of changes some animals, like butterflies, go through as they grow from a tiny creature inside an egg to an adult. Moths go through a metamorphosis too, but a moth caterpillar spins a cocoon around itself instead of changing into a chrysalis. 
So the next time you see a butterfly flutter by, remember all the changes it went through to get that one. So there's also a game that goes with this article, and that would be something great for you to play on your own. It helps you figure out what words need to be capitalized in the middle of sentences. So I really recommend playing that game. And this is the end of science for today.